Number five shows us right here that part of a line segment plus another part of that exact line segment ends up equaling the total length of the full line segment. So when I'm setting up my equation, I go part of the line segment plus the other part is equal to the whole line segment length. So 12 plus some length, so, so question mark, is equal to the length of the whole line segment. All right, so 12 plus what gives me 21? Nine, so the indicated length, the length of question mark is nine, and they did not give us any units, so I'm going to write U for units. We can also set up our equation using geometric notation. So instead of using the number, the length, we use the letters to remind ourselves what lengths we're adding up. So this would be segment UT, while this one is TS, and UT plus TS gives you your entire length from U to S. So the length from U to S is the whole. What about when the segment lengths have variables? So our directions here are to solve for x. First, we will set up an equation. So I have a part that's x plus 7. I have a part which the length is x plus 8. And I have the whole length is 11. Here we have our equation. I'm going to rewrite it without these labels. And now we're solving an equation. The steps for solving an equation would be to distribute if possible. No need to distribute here. Combine like terms. We do have some like terms. x plus x and our numbers can combine, so 7 plus 8. x plus x is 2x. 7 plus 8, positive 7 plus 8 is 15, equals 11. All right, it is now time to do inverse operations. We are trying to get x by itself. 2x is adding 15. So to get 15 to the other side, I will subtract 15. Positive 15 minus 15 is 0. 2x is equal to negative 4. 2 times x is equal to negative 4, so we will do the inverse operation of multiplication which would be to divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is just a special form of the number 1, so it will end up reducing, and that's what we want. We want to know what 1x is equal to, not what 2x is equal to. Negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. But guess what else we need to do? Check your answer. To check your answer, you'll plug in the value you got for x into x into the original equation. The original equation is here. Now we'll plug in negative 2 every time we see an x. So negative 2 plus 7 plus negative 2 plus 8 equals 11. Now we need to make sure that everything that's on this side, once it's combined, does actually equal 11. 
negative 2 plus 7 is 5. 5 plus a negative 2 is 3. 3 plus 8 is 11. Negative 2 plus 7 is 5. Negative 2 All right, so x equals negative 2 is the answer. Our first step is to set up an equation. GH is just one piece of this longer line segment. 2x plus 10 is just one piece or part of this longer line segment. 12 is the length of the whole line segment. The equation is part plus part equals whole. So that's what I will write. Part of the line segment is x plus 2 plus the other part which is 2x plus 10 equals the entire length, which is 12. Our next step is to combine like terms. I see an x and a positive 2x, and I see a positive 2 and a positive 10, all on the same side. x plus 2x is 3x. 2 plus 10 is 12. Inverse operation states that I need to now subtract 12 in order to get it to the right side of the equation. Positive 12 minus 12 gives me 0, so now I have 3x plus 0, which is just 3x. 12 minus 12, oh, that's also 0, so 3x is equal to 0. All right, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 1x is equal to 0 divided by 3. Can you do 0 divided by 3? Yes, you can. 0 in the numerator is A-OK. -okay. It's only when 0 is in the denominator that it's a problem. So that's OK. x equals 0. But we need to check our answers. In order to check, we will plug in 0 for all the x's in the original equation that we set up. So 0 plus 2 plus 2x, so 2 times 0, plus 10 equals 12. Does that actually equal 12? Well, 0 plus 2 is 2 plus, OK, so I'm going to say 2 plus this right here is just 0. Oh, 2 plus 0 plus 10. That is 12. 12 does equal 12. So x equals 0 is correct. This one looks just a little bit different. We have rq is a part, so 9 is going to be a part of our line segment. We have 2x plus 18 is another part. And the entire line segment of RP is x plus 20. This time, we have an x on both sides of our equation. I'm going to write it as just this simple equation. And we're still going to do the same first step. We're going to combine like terms when they're on the same side. Now, we really do only have 9, a positive 9, and a positive 18 on the left side. And on the right side, we have an x and a number. Those don't combine. So all we can combine so far is 9 plus 18. So I'm going to drop this 2x and get 2x plus 9 plus 18 is 27 equals x plus 20. 
Now I have a problem. I need those x's to be together. They need to be on the same side. I'm going to use inverse operations to get this x to the left side. Why am I moving this x to the left side instead of the other way? Well, because I'd rather just not work with negatives if possible. Subtract x on both sides. What is the number that's in front of this x? How many x's are we subtracting? We're just subtracting 1x. So remember that if there's no number, there's a 1 as the coefficient. 2x minus x is 1x. Plus 27 is still on the left side of the equation. Now x minus x, that gives us 0. So we no longer have x's on the right side. All right. Almost done. Now, do the final step of getting x completely by itself. We'll subtract 27, inverse operations of addition. 27 minus 27, that is 0, so x plus 0 is just x equals negative 7. Let's check our answer. 9 plus 2 times negative 7 plus 18 is equal to negative 7 plus 20. All right, I need to make sure the left side does in fact equal the right side. 9 plus 2 times negative 7 is negative 14 plus 18. Negative 7 plus 20 is a positive 13. 9 minus 14 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus 18, that does actually equal 13. So our answer, x equals negative 7, is correct. Begin by setting up the equation on your paper. One of the parts is EF, x plus 1. Another part is FG, length 2. And the entire length of EG is 2x minus 6. Part plus part equals whole. Again, we have an x on both sides, so first we will combine like terms. Positive 1, positive 2. x, this becomes x plus, positive 1 plus 2 is 3, equals 2x minus 6. I want my x's to be on the same side. And because 2x is the bigger amount of x's and it's positive, I'm going to leave it alone and I'm going to move the smaller amount. So subtract x on both sides. You can put them on either side. It's totally up to you. I just like to deal with positives more than negatives if possible. x minus x is 0. So I have just a 3 on the left side, a positive 3. 2x minus x is 1x on the right side and drop this negative 6. Almost done. Get that x by itself by adding 6 to both sides because the inverse operation of subtraction is addition. x equals 9. Let's check our answers by plugging 9 in for x in the original equation. 9 plus 1 plus 2 equals 2 times 9 minus 6. 9 plus 1 plus 2, that is 12. 2 times 9 is 18. So is 12 equal to 18 minus 6? Yes, it is, which means x equals 9 was correct.